What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and our new water block finally came today. The right water block and it is properly engraved as well. Look at that. It says Gaming G Series MSI and that's exactly what we're running. We're running a full MSI build. So I definitely want it to want a water block to go with it. This is the by Whiskey the whiskey I don't know the name of it if it's the 1070 the 1080 and the 1060 it's a full acrylic water block with I don't know what that is some type of material maybe it's aluminum aluminum I don't know it has RGB lights in it comes with an adapter um, the card that we're going to match it to is a GTX 1070 8 gig uh, it's a gaming X card and it is by MSI so it's definitely worth keeping around um, I would like to start my new build the only problem is things keep holding me up so without further ado let's do this how do you put a water block on a graphics card very simple step one remove all that shit Step two, remove all that shit without breaking something. Step three, have the patience to remove all that shit. Step four, make sure you got a little cup to put all your screws and stuff in. And step five, make sure this fits that. Yep. Now I actually, I have two of these now. I got one for a Strix board or for a Strix card and now I got one for an MSI card but anyway let's go ahead and merge these two together the first thing that we are going to want to do is remove all of that excess thermal paste and put fresh thermal paste down which is what we got here it was included and then over here is some of our included stuff you got plugs which are branded plugs that's pretty cool they have like a uh, a design on them can you see the design it kind of like Hits, which is cool it comes with a adapter which is nice okay because they have like some goofy proprietary connector on it that nobody uses except for them so they included one obviously it's a three pin five volt uh, I already know what that is I'm worried about that but yeah the plugs see they got like a design on them that's really cool adds a nice touch to it let's clean that off let's apply new uh, let's make sure that this fits that and hope for the best graphics card in your plate and what we want to do is make sure that all of this lines up It should, especially once you put the standoffs in it. But, let's see here. Alright, so there you have it. You can see the cutout matches the spots there and there. And then our, where our MOSFETs are and all our power distributors, those are well covered. And then if we turn it over, see the cutout for that and stuff and then that clears my problem with the other block was that that was hitting and of course none of the holes were lining up but that's well cleared now and it looks like it's a good fit good and tight yeah it will fit so let's go ahead and take it back apart put a little thermal paste on it we need to apply our pads okay our thermal pads which is essentially what this is this is a thermal pad that they've put on here um, but I'm going to replace it with something a little bit more newer that sucks it got hot it got hot okay so we're gonna lay it down like that that's really to protect uh, 
the metal and stuff. And you also want to make sure that you cover here, here, and here. That's very important. So, I just didn't cut through that. That's probably, I probably shouldn't do that. Okay. And then this should fit up here. It does. Give that a little cut, cut. So I know where it is. There we go. And then what this does is this will allow those components to transfer their heat into the block instead of making direct contact with the metal, which is what you don't want. All right, we don't want that blocking the hole. So there you have it. One, two, and three covered. All right, thermal paste for your GPU. This is for the actual process. Whoop. This is for the actual processor. And you can see they only give you a little bit amount. Uh, and we're gonna put it about right there. Just like that. So we need, er, turn the camera. So we need to add our little plastic spacers into the mix. So that way, when we apply it, we don't have any issues with it. The easy way of doing it is just put the washers on the screw. If you look at it, you have two different types. You have like a flat, and then you have ones that have like this lip on it and that's meant for the washer to go on to and you only get a couple of them so if you're wondering about it let's see here one two oh wait a minute i got two more so we just put one on there one there put the graphics card on top of it like that this is the literally the best way of doing it everything on let's see here oh let me lean this off the desk a little to make room for the bracket see here where's the thing at should it fit there it goes I just want to make sure that they are not touching oh look there's our our smear See our smear? Oh no, our thing's falling. Crap, Ola. That's what I get for showing it to you. I should have just... I should have just clammed it and been done with it. Alright, so now you have your board sandwiched and the plate on. Now what you gotta use are these uh, screws, spring screws. And of course they come with a lovely little plastic washer that you get to do it first. Now my recommendation is that you do the four around the GPU first. So we got our washers down and that's the only washers that I think actually go down or let's see here actually you know what. 
I think everywhere that a compression screw is going to be requires a washer. So we're going to put our washers down, which is, makes it even more fun to try to get all them lined up. Okay, what we'll do is we'll put our back plate back on. Which, let's see here, which, how does this damn thing go on? It's been a minute since I've tore it apart, so I kind of don't remember how I put it on. Let's see here, does it go this way? Well, I think it does go that way. Okay, so it'll go on that way. Okay, all right. That's good to know. Let me go ahead and get my shoot. Really? Let's get our spring screw set. So as you're putting the screws in, you have to press fairly hard hang on I'm blocking your view but you have to press fairly hard to get of course this one doesn't want to do it to get it in there but you don't want to tighten it all the way down you just want to tighten it uh, they're tight but they're not tightened they're just kind of snug and we want to put it on evenly make sure if you take your screw the screwdriver or whatever off of that make sure you got your finger on it because if it's not threaded down it's gonna go boink and you don't want that okay so all of my screws are I there's I turn them until they stop without putting any force behind it just turn it till it stops okay so that one's good and that one's good that one's good all right now we're going to tighten them up like that and you want to do like a cross pattern you don't want to tighten them all the way down and then go to the next one you want to bounce around make sure they're tight all right so we have our GPU tightened to the block now we want to add our back plate and you just kind of want to do it very softly try not to knock your washers way off whack which is near impossible and you'll be going to your other screws now your diagram that comes with the water block you might want to look at that because it could be slightly different in the process for which I'm showing you. Uh, because in the, the diagram or the, the, the manual that I got or received, it actually has, <laughs> which is funny, it's only meant for a certain type of card, but it has like three or four different styles of card in it on how to put the order in which you should put the washers and the block and the back plate if it has a back plate um, now with these screws you don't really have to worry about jumping around with them just get them in get them tight move on to the next and just hope that you've gotten all of your little washers lined up which you know they made them clear which makes it next to impossible to actually see the dang things all right and then the final touch which when i do the build i will adjust this but for looks we'll do it like that So 
there you have it. There's the water block. Um, absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love how it says MSI on it. That is awesome. Now, do you guys want to see it all lit up? Because I do. Well, I guess it doesn't work for me. Um, it says it's a 5 volt and a 12 volt outlet, but I guess it only seems to do 12 volt because I can't get it to power a 5 volt. So, anyway, y'all get the point. It lights up, it's pretty. I showed y'all what the other one looks like. It looks basically the same. So, let's make sure to smash me a like, make sure to subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, this was just one more thing that I needed to complete. And now since this is done, I can move forward and the build. Also, our new water pump arrived to, uh, yesterday. I've been waiting on this. So we got, I think, two more components coming in the mail. And then we can start building this uh, this 10th gen Intel build that I want to build. So I'm excited about it. Make sure to get subscribed so y'all don't miss none of this. Y'all be cool. Thank you for watching.